Hi friends. Poorly controlled diabetes is a very dangerous disease. Millions of people all over the world are struggling with poorly controlled diabetes. Are you one of them? If you are, this video is for you. In this video, we'll see how we can manage diabetes better. I am Dr. Nitin Gupte. I am an obesity consultant. Today, as I said, millions of people are suffering from diabetes and diabetes is a very dangerous disease. And especially during this pandemic, a number of programs have been launched by people who are treating people on a very large mass scale. We are going to talk about them today a little and about diabetes management. I am going to talk to you today about a very recent case that I have, um, I have really been very fortunate in treating. Uh, about a month ago, a lady from Mumbai called me and she told me that she has diabetes for a fairly long time, a mid-60s lady who has retired from BMC a few years ago just to fight diabetes. Now this lady has tried everything under the sun trying to control her diabetes but has failed. She, her treatment is under an endocrinologist, so no questions about the quality of treatment that she is getting. But her blood sugars have not climbed below 200 ever. And with the climbing blood sugar or the raised blood sugar, she always feels very tired. Now this lady has tried to talk the, I mean, tried to take up many treatments, including one. Uh, which is very popular just now, intermittent fasting for diabetes. But her, her endocrinologist was very sure that he did not want her to do that program. So she tried a Pune program in which milk is a taboo. So it's a mass scale program, the free webinar of which she did. And uh, the treat treatment revolved around uh, eliminating milk from the diet and various kind of smoothies with vegetables and fruits. The emphasis was more on uh, more on smoothies and there was some kind of a phase one diet, phase two diet and the exercises were climbing upstairs and sun, uh, in Surya Namaskar that kind of exercises, you know, those kind of exercises. Now with all this kind of treatment her blood sugars never came down below 200 so she was deeply frustrated and that weakness that the high uh, that the raised blood sugar was causing all the time was really causing her no end of distress but this lady had one she was doing one very good thing she was walking on shivaji park every morning without a break up to about four four and a half kilometers every day and walking fairly briskly because of the frustration that the blood sugar wasn't coming down she with a great application dedication applied herself to losing weight and she lost phenomenal 15 kgs for which i am so pleased with her i mean not many people can do that with diabetes and that kind of weakness she still lost 15 kg but the sugars were kind of weren't coming down so ultimately somehow she reached me she told me that the webinar people now were after her they were calling her regularly to join their paid program after the first free webinar but she did not want it that program this kind of programs i believe are probably not individual centric programs they are mass scale programs that means all people are treated on par and the treatment remains the same for everyone now this lady did not want any treatment that was on mass scale. She wanted to be treated personally. So she called me up one evening. We spoke for about an hour or so. I understand that you know you might find it a little difficult to understand. But nowadays I'm not meeting people personally, so I give that time to for people to talk to me on the phone. So actually I told her that my treatment, treatment will be totally individual. I'll be managing her on one-to-one -one basis and not at all on mass scale. So she 
was a little interested, a little more hopeful. So she kept calling me. She called me two or three times after that too, and then finally, she had to take a call. I was of course willing to talk to her as many times as she wanted. I I was convinced that I could help her blood sugars to climb down, but the question was, could she trust me? Finally, she trusted me and joined with me. Actually, she was not drinking milk at all. She did not do the program with the webinar, but the webinar during the free phase of the program had convinced her that milk makes the sugar go up. I was going to give her milk. I was going to feed her fruits, and I was going to still help her lose, bring down her blood sugars. When she came to me, she had stopped losing weight also, and now she also wanted to lose weight. Plus, she wanted her blood sugars to climb down. So I had to do. I had to help her to do both. Actually, when a, when somebody consults me, they have to fill up a feedback form from my website, and that feedback form tells me exactly what the person is eating and what kind of lifestyle that person has, and his medic, uh, his or her's medical history, and any pains or aches that the person might be having. Now, what I realized was, she was eating a lot of chapati, rice, dal's. Amti, Varan, as compared to most of the fortish ladies that I had with me who had diabetes. No wonder her blood sugar was so high. I failed to understand why she was eating so much. I was sure that I could help this lady bring down her blood sugars, but the problem was, could she have faith in me? So I kept talking to her two or three more calls and. i was trying to convince her that i can help her bring down the blood sugar at last she decided to she sort of made up her mind to join with me because my program was personal centric the treatment would be on exactly one one to one basis she had to report to me on daily basis what she was eating how much exercise she has put in and i am i was going to i was going to reply to every report every day so she was going to get advised every single day so she joined with me finally now the only problem was that the free webinar had convinced her that sugar milk raises blood sugar now i had to convince her that i am going to give you milk i am going to give you fruits and i am going to make you eat a little less of chapatis of less of rice less of dals varan amti and bring your sugar down but then she was worried that her she might not be satisfied with that quite that kind of limited food but it wasn't to be because she was going to have a breakfast she was going to have a lunch she was going to have a dinner and she was going to have ample milk and fruits in between so she finally joined with me and i the only change that i made in her exercise was i asked her i requested her to walk twice a day on shivaji park she was game on it so she started walking and she was so fit because she was already walking very briskly for 4 and 1/2 km so she could walk, take up evening walks very easily and she was very happy and content because she was drinking that milk she was drinking that the eating those fruits and she was happy along all, all along so eating a little less of chapati rice dal did not matter to her and that brought, brought down her blood sugars within 2 days her blood sugars dropped down to near 100 from 200 about 200 and by the end of the 3 weeks uh, she around diwali her blood sugars had tapered down to 114 and 104 and 101 fasting was a little higher than postprandial but it will settle down soon why did this happen the simple reason why her blood sugars were not under control in spite of medication is that you have to manage your own blood sugar every single day if you are a diabetic and your endocrinologist or your physician can do nothing about it they can only look at the blood sugar levels and prescribe medication for you but you need a healthy lifestyle to support the treatment that your endocrinologist or your physician is giving you so what happens now her blood sugars are perfectly normal and she has also begun to lose weight and all her friends are telling her now to stop losing weight so my friends 
what is important if you are a diabetic is to lead a healthy lifestyle not depend upon medicines and insulin alone to control your blood sugar and you are the one who has to control your blood sugars your doctor is there to assist you assess you help you manage any other illnesses that you might have along with diabetes yes but then the day to day management of your blood sugar is very much your fault you have to manage your own blood sugars every single day i hope you have liked this video and if you have liked it please like share subscribe and leave comments for me thank you very much